Hey guys, press the bell icon to never miss a video from Popexo Daily. Juttis? But who wears Juttis, no? Why don't you do clothes? You know, the guys would say, you know, you should go home, cook food, maybe play with dolls because video games is not for you. They pass on a comment like, how will you manage such weight? What crap you making? If you making these childish things, so then you can't run the business like this. So when I was getting married, I decided I'll wear Jitti. I realized there was a huge decline in the handicraft. I had to go out and make my own juti. And my friends and my family had come from overseas and you know other parts of India on my wedding. And when they saw my juti, they absolutely loved it. And that sort of struck an idea. I said, okay, that means people love it. We don't have any studies for gaming. I tried to pursue MBA, but I never really enjoyed. So I tried to find a career which would lead me to the gaming industry. Started riding bike when I was in my college, but later on it came to a halt when I started working and I got married. But three and a half years back, with the help of my husband, again I'm on wheel and I'm really happy and proud of it. So I started with one machine and uh, initially I was making the clothes for my family and friends. They were quite supportive. When I started this thing, I wanted to introduce that color and bling in right amount. When you're doing well, and then you get a setback, is harder. So I remember uh, when I had launched Needle Dust, and we were doing fairly well, and people were enjoying the product. I received a lot of leather out of which we made juttis, and when those four to five hundred juttis got absolutely spoiled, that was a low point back then. And I said, Why am I doing this? And maybe this is time I give up. That is the time to sort of go back and remember why you started this at all. And I did. I just lifted myself up and started from scratch again. For me, the most challenging part would have been getting accepted in the community as a girl. Guys think that since I'm a girl, I cannot be good in gaming. I would never get selected to play in any tournament. It made me feel like no matter how much I practice, I'll, I'll never be taken seriously. I always take every tournament I play as an experience, every people I meet as, you know, people who teach me how to become better. I went for extensive off-roading and there um, I fell down off the cliff. So that was the point when actually I could see my kid in front of my eyes because being a mother, I couldn't stop thinking about it, whatever happened. Though I was on the verge of quitting, so proud to have the man in my life. He, you know, made me realize the importance of safe riding. Till now I'm riding because of that. He changed the whole perspective. I had a job in 9 months, so I didn't have enough funds to start your own business. Then I started with one master gym, one month, two months, and I was sitting in the office, and my salary is going. But I was very passionate to create my own thing. Whatever I am doing, I am enjoying that, and it pushes me beyond my limit. To continue to plan, open more nationwide, Every time I think about how far we've come, that is my shine out moment. I participated um, in this tournament with my own team and um, we came second. So I practiced really hard, like continuously practicing with that weapon to shine out in the game. And I did. I'm a mother, I'm a wife. Even I have to, you know, balance out in my life on the daily basis. I never quit on my passion. I just wanted to say, uh, believe in your roots and follow your guts. After every bad day, there's always going to be a good day, no matter what. Believe in yourself and shine out. <laughs> <laughs>